dropping my agenda and listening is the key to connecting with somebody else. Dropping my agenda and listening, wait a minute, it starts with me, and it's not about me, it was about us. Improvisation is not about being funny. Yes, those who can improvise can be funny. But I learned more, improvise is not making stuff up, flying by the seat of your pants, faking it until you make it. Improv comedy is all about connecting with another individual. It's all about making that connection. And you're in the business of connecting with us. Us is everybody in this room. Us is, I love what Marilyn said, we serve, she said, the homeless, but we serve our customers. We're connecting with them. That's why you guys are successful. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play this game called One Word at a Time. And what we'll do, we're going to try to ha have a sentence, create a sentence, just one word at a time. Time, okay? You want to start or me? You. Are. We. The. Best. Employees. Here. At. White Castle. Oh, that was two words. I tricked you. <laughs> that's one to us. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, that's one. Okay. Try, let's do it again. Okay. Hi. I. Am. The. TM. Of? White Castle? <laughs> I can't believe it's White Castle! <laughs> Let the record show, White Castle is one word. <laughs> Not even with a hyphen. One word, okay. so be it. Third time. Yeah. Okay, I got this. My? Dog? Is? Little. And? Fast. Because? He? Is young and cute. <laughs> <laughs> so you did it perfectly. This whole game of one word at a time is when she hesitated, we tend to, when people are talking, we might be two or three, four sentences, words ahead. Yeah. So when I throw something out different that she's not expecting, uh, don't anticipate. We do that all the time. We get two or three sentences ahead. We get two or three words ahead. We start anticipating what the other person says. And when they throw us a curveball, we're, we're lost. When, you know, go bold, go big. Go obnoxious in these goals. Don't listen to that inner critic. That inner critic is there to also protect us. I want that inner critic to say, as I'm standing on the edge, getting ready to jump out of the airplane, say, don't jump, you don't have a parachute. Jump and have a plane without a parachute is a once-in-a-lifetime event. <laughs> I want it to be stopped and pulled back. However, in constructive conversations, I don't want to, it's hard. It's so easy to talk about. I get it. But it's hard to implement. Because my, my, my thing, my fear is, no, it's not a fear, it's actually a reality is when you go back to your castles and you get back into the rut. If you've been using no because and yes but, you might fall back into the trap. Hold each other accountable. Catch yourself, stop yourself. Do this, the second greatest invention ever made. Post-it notes. Write yes and on a post-it note. Stick it in your office. Stick it in your car. Stick it where it's visible so you can see it, so you can implement it every day. Passion for it. Because I want you guys to be able to use this simple tool to grow your business. So you all will be in Disney World in two years. Maybe after that, you'll go further south, like Havana, Cuba. <laughs> Who knows? Seems like a crazy idea, but it might not be. Okay. This tool will help you grow your business because it'll inspire your employees 
And take it, you know, this is the gift that keeps on giving, because when you guys go back and you hold staff meetings, talk about this, implement it, put it in place with your team, have them work through it. When you walk the talk, they will follow. You have to be the one to set the example. That's why you're in leadership.